Good morning. Happy Friday. Super excited about today. We have fantastic, um, fantastic things. Um, that either have just been listed or are about to be listed. I think I only have one thing up here that has not been listed yet. So, yay. Super excited. Okay. Um, first thing I want to show you is my cool old farrier tool. So it's brass. It's a brass, um, old brass farrier tool and it still works. Though you're going to hear my daughter's alarm going off. She had an hour delay for school. Okay, I did go off. She's pretty good getting up by herself and doing her own thing. She's a senior. I have two seniors, actually. Two senior daughters. They are not twins. They are. My husband's daughter is nine months younger than my daughter. They met in school. That's how we met. Kind of like parent trap. <laughs> a long time ago. Hey, right. brass fair tool. It's old. It's got some age to it. It does work. Just need some WD-40. That's on my eBay store. Then I have this cool bottle made in Italy. It's hand painted. Um, but yeah, very neat. Be a very cool decor piece. Um, Mm -mm, mm -mm. Video. Doing a video. Oh my god, I gotta get some clothes. Please? I gotta get some clothes. Okay. Go ahead. You see my button? You can't post it. I love teenagers. I love teenagers. Alright. Then I have these guys. They're the same. It's the same thing. Um, they are made by Fred Mill. Um, they're reproductions. But um, I sold two similar to this. Uh, also Red Mill. And they sold for uh, almost $30 a piece. So I got these in a bag of birds for six bucks. So I was very excited. The last ones I got, like I said, sold for $30 a piece. So yeah, I was, as soon as I seen these in the bag, I was like, oh, oh I'm pretty sure those might be Red Mill. And I was, and I was right. So they do very, very well. Yay me. Then I have my old perfume bottle. This was on a day that I didn't find anything else in the entire store. But this guy. That was it. But I was excited because I love old perfume bottles and every time I find one I pick it up. And this one was really pretty. And I'm pretty sure this is the original stopper for it. And so, yay. And a lot of times the, like the glass on the inside is flashed and missing. There is no missing paint off this one at all. It is in perfect, pristine condition. So I was very happy. All right, so my last find, there were three of these on the shelf. I found three of them and they were marked over six dollars a piece. Now I try really hard not to buy something that's over six dollars because I'm a reseller um, and as magnificent as it was I really struggled with buying something 
and I couldn't buy all three of them. My husband, first of all, my husband would kill me. And I bought a lot that day, so I have to keep I have to keep rain on me when I'm reselling because sometimes I get excited and I'm like scoop them all up. My husband's like Amber, and I'm like we're on a tight budget. Like my husband just got over cancer. We have daughters getting ready to go to college. Like I have to be smart about what I'm doing and making a profit. I'm just starting off and and I have to be smart. So I only got one and I just, I fell in love with it because she was covered in lace and I love lace dolls and I loved her. Like it was an instant love connection with this. And to tell you the truth, I didn't, and I still am struggling to sell her because I am so in love with her and I just want to put her up on my shelf and just take her out and love on her when when I feel like it but I was lucky enough to make enough for profit for that next week where I was able to go back and they actually had one of the three left still on the shelf though she was damaged when I went back and that made me really sad because she was so fantastic and she was damaged when I went back to get her and she was not damaged when I picked her up the first time so anyway, this is the first one I got I'm gonna stop talking so you at least don't know what I'm talking about so these are handmade dowels from Haiti and this is the first one I got and I love handmade dowels I love dolls but I love handmade dolls um, especially from different cultures because you just I when I see them they're always in so much better condition than our dolls here like first of all they always have their clothes on so you can tell that other cultures actually take care and actually love the dolls that they get like those are their pride and joy and that is really cool. This one, I like, there was an actual, like, I, I love this doll. And like I said, I really struggled to sell her because I mean, she's got fabric legs. Sorry, I'm not trying to show your business. She's got pearl earrings obviously not real pearls but she's got a little damage done on her nose but and she's got a little stain on her dress and then she had a little tear a little tiny tear in the front of her dress right there but other than that she is fantastic and perfect then so that's the one I first brought home and then when I went back this doll did not have this damage done. This doll had a perfect hat. And when I went back to get her, her hat was damaged. But that did not stop me. I did pick her up anyway because she needed to be home. <laughs> and she has got like charcoal colored earrings. She does have a little stain on her shirt or in her vest here. She also has the fabric legs with the bloomers. She has a pearl necklace. She also has damage on her nose. And the damage on her hat. But she is still absolutely beautiful. And I really hate to split them up but I am selling them separate. But I am selling them both on my eBay store so you can buy them together. And that right there is my favorite find of the week. And I'm super excited that I was able to go back and get two of them. I was sad that I was not able to buy all three of them. And I have so many regrets of not buying all three of them at the same time.
and next time I find three of them together I will just scoop them all up because I do have regrets about that and they are perfect <laughs> it is again one of those places I definitely want to visit I have a friend that goes down there all the time and she visits Haiti and it's like her that's her place like that's that's her spot. She helps set up orphanages and she, she's a photographer and she takes pictures and she helps promote the orphanages and, and, and she always tells me how wonderful the people are and how they're just so full of love and some humanity and care for each other. And it's just one of those spots I always wanted to go. So anyway, I hope everybody has a fantastic day and stop buying boring things and buy something unique at Amber's Antiques.